What is going on guys? The name's D Free. Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Um, this will probably be one of probably BB, probably be one of the last ones that I actually wind up putting over on this channel. And what I mean by that is I have a second channel for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and other Yu-Gi-Oh! specific content that I choose to get into down the road. But for this video, this is more or less like an update video, but a quicker video where I talk about the update that has come to the game. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Like I said, not to this one though, but to the uh, Duel Links channel. That one will be down below in the comments, or the description, excuse me. Duel Links Central. So, have an awesome day, and let's go ahead and get into it. So, they have done several things with the update to 1.7.0, and they've implemented the Bakura event again. So if you didn't have Bakura, you didn't have Dark Necrofear, you can get them now. Don't worry about it. You can get them now. Or if you did have Dark Necrofear, now you can get your second copy. So that's really cool. Uh, you can start looking at those decks now because Dark Necrofear is a really good unit or a really good card. It can be a really good card in this game, but probably needed a couple copies to really really maximize it so you can start seeing like crazy decks like dark necrofear last gamble propping in that'd be really cool so what they've done here is um they have some issues that they're working on so that's not really what i want to talk about they uh here it is this is the one so they updated the application they changed the language options for character voices i saw that menu that doesn't really pertain to a lot of people preparation for improvements to the shop so they're going to be making some changes to the shop or it is pertaining to the changes that they have already implemented which we'll talk about later on rank duels revamp preparations so they are changing the way that the rank duel system works they're going to be adding more rewards for duelists and rank duels so it doesn't feel like it's so monotonous you're just playing and there's no real reason to keep playing anymore especially once you get the king of games and then it resets on you you're down to silver and it's like damn there's no reason to play anymore so they're fixing that they also changed unhappy girl if you didn't know what unhappy girl did is basically if she attacks an enemy they are unable to attack or change their battle positions so this the, the the effect change that they made to her is in accordance with the actual tcg for Yu-Gi-Oh. now this really only impacts the yugi moto event basically what this means is that yugi's flip effect monsters he has guardian statue guardian sphinx she can't lock them face down so what would happen is if she would attack them they would go face down but due to her effect they cannot come back face up so now they can come up and down, up and down as they please. So they remove that. It doesn't sustain when they go face down. Apparently, that's the way the card works in actuality. So they changed that. So that, that's interesting. So they also uh, have a survey going on. If you log in right now, you will get 100 pearls or, or yeah, gems, pearls, whatever. They're removing some dual quests. There's there's actually a setting in here that I wanted to look at. I'm not seeing it right now. Uh, so the shop has been revamped. <clears throat> this is the way that the shop looks now the item section down here if you want to come down here which most free to play players won't touch uh and then they have the box sets over here and then once you click on them they also have a recommended booster i assume that this will always be the most up-to-date one newest booster but when you click it from there it just goes back to the traditional layout so that's that's a thing um another thing that they have done is like i said the bakor event is live but another thing i've noticed is that they do have the uh the card trader here and they have implemented some new crystals and that's that was kind of in the bakura event so i haven't really played yet but they have put a lot of rewards in here and people have been saying that they want more rewards yada 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 and they're doing it they're, they're putting a lot of rewards in there i don't know if this is far from the course but it seems like you're getting one every twenty thousand. so maybe that's what they normally do for these type of events either way they have a lot of stuff in there level 50 bakura is here He'll appear in Duel World. You get Dark Necrofear. You get all those cards. They implemented EX Duels. So EX Duels earned from the event missions or dueling with Yami Bakura can be exchanged at the card trader for event exclusive Yami Bakura cards and other exclusive cards. EX Duels disappear when they can no longer be used in the card trader. EX Duels will no longer be usable after July 17th. P cards purchased with EX Duels can only be purchased once per event. Okay. <clears throat> So EX Jewels, they won't be available after July 17th, huh? That's interesting. I wonder what they're going to do from there. Either way, what they're doing is, if you look at the card trader, I'm all I'm all out of gold. But the funny thing is you could buy gold. <laughs> you could buy 1,000 gold for 10 EX Jewels uh, or 100 for one. But, like, why? Now, Big Shield Gardener is back. You can only get one copy, apparently. I don't have any copies, it says. 
But Big Shield Gardner was actually not from this event. He's specific to just the regular card trader portion of this. Um, but he was cycled out, so he's no longer available aside from this. So I think that's what it meant by other like specifically uh, specific cards. So he's one of them. I'm, I'm curious to see if there are any other cards that they have cycled out that they're going to be cycling back in. So Archfiend Empress is one of Bakura's cards. I think this was like the uh, that that card event, whatever it's called. Freaking hell! Um, I think you get one of these for. They put all the cards on the screen in a circle. Man, it's like 8 a.m. Don't at me. It's too early. Uh, and you get it for free. I think that's what that was. Because I own one. I don't know why I would own one even. And then these are, that's another Bakura card. Bad reaction to Simoichi. It was a card that was actually in the card trader. It must have been rotated out. Uh, Fiend Griefing is a Bakura card. This is another one of those cards that's like this one that I was talking about that they give you out for free. I think I gave them out a few times. Yeah, they did. And they have a couple of other cards there. So apparently this may update with the card trader update as well. But it is nice to see, most importantly. It's nice to see, which I wish they would have done this for the previous event, the Mokuba event. But it's nice to see that um, they are implementing a way for us to now basically buy the cards from the card trader, from the event. They're only going to let you get one, but that's still better than zero. Say that you're farming the event and you don't get any that's better than zero say you're farming the event and you get two and you want that third one now you can get it you know uh it costs 100 jewels it's going to cause you to, to grind for it but either way it's guaranteed that's the most important thing they also said that in the news that they will be adding a way to convert cards to glossy or prismatic format which is great as well so we'll be seeing what happens with that in the future um i will be back on the other channel the dual links channel with some decks that i'm going to be running against bakura later on today hopefully so anyways if you're not subscribed over there that's where you want to be so have an awesome day and i'll catch you guys in the next one